Now let me talk a little bit about this term, which uh, in English can be a little misleading. In fact, so misleading that I usually will just use the Hebrew word and not uh, refer to these figures as judges as they are referred to in the NRSV English translation of the Bible in this, in this part. Judges in English tends to mean individuals who make determinations in legal cases. So two individuals, for instance, have a dispute. They can't resolve the dispute between themselves. Uh, they go to a judge, and a judge decides between them. That's the common meaning of the word judge. The word in Hebrew is shofet. And it comes from, in fact, the verb, which means to judge the way I described it, which I'll put it in parentheses, would be shafat. But when the word shofet, singular, shofetim, plural, when that word is employed in the book of Judges, it does not mean somebody who determines legal cases. Rather, it's referring to what I think would better be uh, translated as a military chieftain. This is a figure who is uniquely qualified to lead the people into battle. Uh, another very good word to use for this uh, is warlord. So we have uh, a, a, a lack of structured or centralized organization, and in that vacuum, somebody emerges who can lead the people. Now, because this figure can come from any class, any, na any age, any nationality, I might add any tribe, any gender, uh, the people are willing to follow this figure not because of their connections to the system of eldership, but simply because they recognize that Yahweh has designated this figure to lead them. And so, the stories of the judges or the Shofetim are the stories of these various regional charismatic leaders who are then uh, designated by Yahweh, according to the story, to lead the people against their enemies. 